a bit of news about the news, friends, a little bit of everything. You know, Europe has been hit by Armageddon-like snowfalls, bad weather everywhere, now snow, now frost, a terrible heat, something that did not exist before. In principle, winter in Europe has always been mild, and it must be said the snowstorms behaved so freely in Europe that cars would stop. Germany had particularly many issues. Vehicles would get stuck. But the worst part, regarding electric cars. Those electric cars couldn't stand it. They batteries were discharging from the cold. Therefore, if you're buying electric cars, buy hybrids that work both ways. If the electricity runs out, then you can switch on a fuel pump that will save you after all. Snowfall also occurred uh, in the Czech Republic, Germany, Czech Republic, France partially, Switzerland fully. Austria was all covered in snowfalls. Well, if we speak again in the south of Ukraine, let's say the Armageddon that struck Crimean lands about the Crimean Peninsula, which might soon become an island. It should be noted that just some kind of typhoon, a snowstorm swept over all the lands. What was that but for that? Listen to mine. A video called Crimean Armageddon, I'll provide the link here at the end of this video. And you can enjoy the geometry. The weapon I'm talking about in that video. As for friends, uh, other topics. A very interesting and very sensitive issue when our country our country is losing out as of today. The male population is completely lost. The plan is so overachieved that all the male population remains somewhere happy, somewhere on the other side of the barrier of our life. But the bride is... That's not right. Remain untended. Yes, no matter how you put it, we... Yes, it's the Arab world. It's not related at all. Listen to my videos. I talk about this. It was all predictable from the first day. As soon as Armageddon happened on the border of Israel and Hamas, that is. If we talk about the Gaza sector, it was clear what would happen next. So I talked about what comes next in my videos. The Arabs, Arabs uh, will be in demand to Russia and they'll be sent there. Don't believe me, but um, you might not believe it, friends, but I think it's all predictable. And you can, of course, believe or not believe, but it will be just as I said. Oh, I have excellent analytics. And not a single analyst has ever contested me. As for the Arabs, then in the Arab segment of the internet, the video that tells the story garnered million views. In Russia, there are few men left because of the war. And so there are a lot of brides and they advise slaves to come. Russian Federation for Women in Great Britain, considering the steady decrease in the male population, someone knows that the male population will steadily decrease, it will be gone, and the white population in Russia in 10 years, there will hardly be any left at all. But if Russia remains by 10% in 10 years, return to this video and listen. And you'll see that I always tell the truth. All my predictions come true wonderfully, no matter how unpleasant they are for you. But at the same time, the Russian Federation's Minister of Education Folklore, I suggest listening here. Pay attention, friends. If you don't lose your hair from such information, then, well, let's listen. 
Minister of Education Folkov suggested equipping universities with conception rooms. Conception rooms. Russia, in its degradation, is sinking lower and lower, and the brains, and I don't know where our education so wonderful, which they shout about, is. She's constantly gone. We're left with nothing but degenerates. Conception room. Will they hang a red lantern in this conception room or not? I understand that a girl will be lying down and up to 40 men will be in line. And the conception room, maybe it will have 10 beds or maybe 50. We can't imagine how much fantasy there is at the education minister's he doesn't think about education. He thinks about the red light. These red lights will be integrated into your universities. You know, it's like the first swallow the tent, but this is madness. It's galloping schizophrenia, running through the country. The devil is running across the land. The devil does the conception room easily and then the Minister of Education, Polkov, yeah, dreamily tells of a time he once had his youth, but we don't care about his youth. We absolutely uninteresting to hear about his youth. Who is he for normal people to listen to these dirty rags, right? He speaks like that. I remember myself when I was young, it was hard to find some alone time with a girl. That is simply, with a girl, it was difficult, of course, because of poverty, whether ruled by students or by greed. But go on, you're not that old. There were already hotels everywhere in your time. Uh, go pay for the hotel. But would a Russian man really pay for a hotel just to have some pleasure? He could do it even under a bush. Location doesn't matter to him. So now he's making his dreams a reality in your life, in the life of yours. Your children's conception rooms, the experts, uh, they think this initiative emerged specifically due to the Kremlin's directive to increase the birth rate at any cost. Brothel rooms will be called conception rooms. What does this tell us, friends? Do you not remember? The Saratov province was once famous for the slogan, all women are common. If a woman, if she didn't comply, she was deprived of food as an artificial famine was orchestrated nationwide and she was expected to conform. If a man did not pay, then the whole family was ruined and killed. But already girls from 12 to were obliged to work until the age of 55. It was a duty to fulfill. In the Saratov region, haven't you heard? So you hardly know what it is. And it's hard to talk to you about this, friends, because an illiterate country unaware of its past is not a country and it's possible you were conceived in the same kind of brainless rooms with nothing but uh, to meet their needs as it was in the saratov region women were sent to work there all day long and then nurseries were organized because women started to have children actively what do you think? She could have used some contraceptives that were not available at all, absolutely nowhere, and no one was getting abortions. Women either took their own lives or gave birth, reluctantly, but they gave birth. Children were sent to nurseries. And what happened in those nurseries, friends? But last full bosses, they even reached the cradles. And now what? It's different. Uh, how many scandals at the Vatican and other various organizations? 
Only in Russia, there are no scandals. Do you understand? And people also notice that Putin wants in complete sentence, the original text seems to be cut off and lacks context for translation. Kursk submarines were called $10 prostitutes. I wonder what Putin will call the widows and mothers of the mobilized who died in the war he started. You hire prostitutes on purpose, gave them each $10. That's something Putin said specifically to discredit me. Vladimir Putin said this about the widows of the sailors who perished on the submarine Kursk in August 2000. When they went, footage from a submarine, when the sailors' wives were taken to throw wreaths at the site of the sinking Kursk, he said, you hire horse on purpose, giving them $10 each, specifically to discredit me. These, my friends, are our rulers. Of course, what else can be said about the happiness that struck us five years ago? You thought five years ago you were falling into some kind of rabbit hole. However, Rabbit hole. No? I've done a few videos where I said it's still unknown how deep the rabbit hole goes. And there uh, we have a deputy Azuravlev proposing to allow rape. You know, you might think you misheard. I would have told you this about five years ago. You would say, yes, the mad ones speak like that. And now a deputy speaks this from the high rostrum of the state Duma. Birth rates have dropped. Many men want sex and kids, but no time to court. Yes, like little dogs. Go on, multiply like little dogs. I myself, when I see a beautiful woman like Zaharova, I'm ready to pounce but they'll lock me up. Deputy Zhuravlyov, how terribly we live, friends, and we don't understand that. In Dagestan, that very Dagestan, where there were disturbances just recently, oddly, and someone wanted to restore some justice. If a white blonde guy comes to you, the, then he's shorn on bald with scissors, not those from a tailor, but some were taken. In some probably 19th century, the scissors were taken. Where they found them? Blunt. Scary. But these scissors are used to cut blonde guys' hair. Don't rush in there. Why do you need Dagestan? Or do you think if you did nothing wrong, then everything will be fine for you there? No. They are instigating national discord, imposing it from above. Go send Dagestani guys to cut the long-haired blonde guy's hair. But yes, there are many of them and he is alone. That's called being manly. Yes, being Caucasian will all pounce on him together. Hey, they're devils, where are you? They're devils, or you have no honor or dignity left. Just expel him from your country, but don't touch him. Why? And this is humiliation, violence, has a daredevil ever humiliated his victim? He could simply kill, but not humiliate. This is a daredevil. This is the Caucasus. He respects himself. What about you? You're stepping on yourself. You just trampled yourself with the arrival of Jews to your country. Now you're stepping on yourself when you demean this blonde guy just because he's blonde. Are you not blondes? You're demeaning yourself, aren't you? Oh, you could say you acted very appropriately. No, guys, you are not daredevils and did wrong. I tell you this as the granddaughter of the Prophet Muhammad. And now they're preparing something for the elections 
we'll have the same old friends. We're talking about the United States. After all, it's always the United States to blame. Trump is our Putin's friend. Russia worked for its money, paid. How upsetting it is. Trump uh, fueling his elections with vast millions upon millions. Yes, and now Trump talks about the need to cancel the democratic norm of two presidential terms. Ensuring mandatory change of power is now decided to come to power, probably with the help of his buddy Vladimir Putin. Power will be unenforceable. You know, how much longer can this go on? Bringing these clowns to power, or maybe it's the end of an era with buffoonerian bells. With red pant uh, rustic, right? Striped or checkered. It's Trump, the American president, intending to turn democracy upside down. Well, then, people welcome him, mostly those who were bribed, receiving $10 each. Private military contractors once brought Trump to power, now they are bringing him back. They'll try to bring it over. A tremendous am amount of money will be squandered, and Russia, the country, will starve because all the funds will go there, to the east. Elections, clowns, BBC. Moreover, Russia brought Zelensky to power. No, you'll say you don't remember anything. It's Russia that brought Zelensky to power. I said that during the elections. The first Zelensky, she spoke. And Zelensky himself said, why are you blaming me? That my pants are growing from the Kremlin. Specifically pants. The pungentes, they grow. Moscow brought Zelensky to power. No one else. Uh, and now Moscow has brought another clown to power. Who? Over in Argentina. And now Trump too. Third column, which will come to the United States. Will it come or not? Let's fantasize a bit. What do you think? Will there be a celebration on Trump Street or not? Or will Belarus bring Biden to power after all? Could something happen to Trump? Complex, let's say, like with Kennedy back then. After all, Kennedy's most unsightly moment was driving in a car was content, happy with his wife. Could this happen to Trump? What do you think? I am Tanya Karatsuba, a developer. Today, we have December 4th, 2023. Uh, Christmas is coming. What will it be like? Look at the numbers around me. Wanted good forecasts for yourself? Of course, I will give a forecast. I'll wait for all the pledgeries to make their forecast. Then I'll give mine. My unique one, it might be delayed, but let all the pledgeries express their opinion. And I'm at the end. Note, I never repeat any of them. They all repeat me. I'm Tanya Karatsubas and Burhan. Good evening, good day, good mood. Appreciate and enjoy every day.